Hello, people of our YouTube channel. That sounds so dumb. Hi, everybody. It's us, Eldie and Lucas, here again, like every video. Hi everybody. Um, look, we're traveling. We said we would travel and we are. And now we're stuck in our car. <laughs> so um, Ellie and I woke up at like 6 this morning so that we could leave the house at like 7.30 to drive four hours about northeast of Essen to Hemwar? Hemwar. Hemwar? Hemor. 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 Hem Hemor. Yeah, not Hemor. I don't know. Hemor. To Hemor. Because that's where the Crydise is, which is um an old uh, quarry of some kind. I don't know what they Well, since mined. it's called Crydise, Crydise is chalk, so I assume they so mine they mined chalk. chalk. Okay. I guess they mine chalk. <laughs> we don't do, know that I'll for have to sure. do more research. Um, but yeah, and it was eventually abandoned. There's lots of old equipment down there. Now it's a lake 60 meters deep at its max, and Which we wanted to scuba dive it. We're not going to 60 meters. We're only going to no. stay to 20 at max. Yeah, 20 max. We promise you, we're not risk takers. And so, um, well, the morning started bright and sunny out. Within an hour of our drive, it turned gray, and it rained off and on the rest of the day. And then we got to our Airbnb at like noon. Tried to come out to the lake, started raining, so we waited an hour. It stopped raining. We ran to the lake, got all of our equipment. It was sunny again for like yeah. 15 minutes. It was sunny, like you could actually see the sun. And we parked our car where we should get into the lake. It's and that way. Yeah, the, the lake is, is that way. And uh, it started raining again, so I have half of my dry suit on. Ellie doesn't quite have her dry suit on. All of our equipment is sitting out there getting soaked in the rain. Yeah, so now we're just stuck here waiting out the rain. Supposedly, it might stop between now and the next 45 minutes. Um, Ellie's biggest concern of our trip here is what? Cold hands and feet. Yeah, Ellie doesn't do well with the cold. She's often cold and um, I mean, the reason you dive with a dry suit is because the temperature of the area is very cold and that doesn't quite mix with Ellie. But, so for example, there's like two types of dry suits. I mean, technically there's like three, but there's like, we have tree laminate ones that we've rented from Christian. Thank you, Christian. Um, which are very thin, but they're very um, durable. And the other type is neoprene. And neoprene ones, you can also get them in wetsuits, but neoprene dry suits are thicker. And so they keep me warmer and I prefer them, I think. But you need like a, then a lot of weight to sink you to like offset the air. So theoretically, tree laminates are better. But I don't know. Oh my God, we're gonna blow away. <laughs> it's really windy outside. Um, yeah, we, we really want to get a dive in today. So tomorrow is supposed to be great. Tomorrow is supposed to be like sunny and nice, no rain worries. But we paid for a weekend pass and we paid for the equipment for today and tomorrow. So, I mean, it's just money, so it's not the biggest deal, but it would be ideal if we could at least get one dive in today and to make use of what we paid for. And like, we're not trying to complain about the rain. Like we can still go diving when it's raining out. Um, just because you're in the water and so you don't notice it anyways, but we can't really finish getting ready because like this is like This is like Padding yeah. um, Not it's not padding though. It's like warmth for underneath the tree laminate dry suit. So like It should ideally be dry because I'd like to use it tomorrow and I don't want it to get soaked um, Things are fine so we just don't want to finish getting ready in the rain because we don't want to get wet. And yeah. I don't want to get cold anymore. Oh, look, the, the clouds are clearing. Oh, good. Maybe things are happening outside. I can't see because the window's are really foggy. <laughs> Stop fogging it up. I'm sorry, I just want to talk to our audience. Even the back windows are all foggy. 
Okay. We'll see you later. Goodbye. We have some things to talk about. But first I need to get all this stuff off. short because we want to relax from what has not been a relaxing afternoon. Would you agree? Wholeheartedly. So um after we uh left you hanging with the whole stuck in the car situation it eventually stopped raining long enough that we were like yep let's get our dry suits on no. let's get everything set up let's do this. The fact of the matter is, we probably spent an hour and a half. I would say two. Maybe even two. Putting on our scuba equipment, which I don't think has ever taken us that long. No matter what equipment we were using, where we were, it took us forever. So I think that yeah. I'm really proud of us for like... I guess you would say sticking through, but we didn't stick through. Giving up? I'm proud of us for giving up or like listening to I'm proud to of us for trying to like resolve the issues, but eventually just saying like, no, this was, this isn't the day. But I'm proud of us for being able to like thumb, you call it like thumbing a dive. Um, when you say like, no, like let's call it. Because a lot of, some people don't do that. Some people don't have the courage to say, okay, well, let's just give up. But in diving, you really need to because it could be your life. And I'm not trying to sound melodramatic, but it could. So like, let's add them up. So I had my tank falling. My, I hit my head on the car, which was minimal. Um, I had like three layers of socks on, had to take them off because my feet were pinching. Um, my tank fell, I said that. My, we couldn't get our weights in. Your tank fell. My soapy regulator. You were having issues with your gloves. Oh, um, we didn't have the like straps for the second regulator. You know, mm -hmm. the, 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 you couldn't mm -hmm. like tighten the jacket anymore. Okay. I still want to fit all of this weekend into one video. So we're going to go relax and, um, we will hopefully see that tomorrow goes better and you'll get to see a fun dive and not see another day of frustrated Ellie and Lucas. By the way, this is our duck. He goes with us everywhere we dive. He's our dive duck. Mm -hmm.
Okay, so we just got home from our first dive. It was on the shorter side, like 10 minutes, and I stopped at Etika and got Ellie some like potato soup. Is it good? Good. Um, because it's her birthday, so whatever Ellie wants, Ellie gets. Um, yeah, it was a shorter dive um, because it was cold and Ellie's hands started to hurt, right? Um, but it was still like a nice dive. We got to see the, um, the underwater boat, which was like covered in mussels, like the little shelly animals. And that was like very cool to see, mm -hmm. actually. I was surprised. Like literally every square inch of it was just covered. It was amazing. Yeah. Um, I wish we would have made it farther, but like, yeah, my hands were just getting really cold. So we decided, okay, like, let's turn back because you don't want to like run it with frostbite, but my feet were doing fine. My head was doing fine. That's good. I really felt like really comfortable and really natural. And I'm glad that we waited until today to go because it just made everything feel much more easy. Yeah. I think now I need to work on like different gloves. Yeah, we need to figure out the hand situation and then you'll be set. Um, in terms of the dive, for me, the dive actually was kind of not one of my best dives ever. I really enjoyed the space. I would love to actually get to explore this lake a lot more. Um, so like maybe um, we joked about it, but maybe when Ellie and I come back in June for a concert, we can come back here when the water's warmer. That'd be cool because it's, there's just, it feels so massive. And um, I really liked that feeling. I haven't had a feeling like that anywhere we dove so far. Like, really just feeling like a small piece of this giant thing. So that was really cool. Um, but I was having real issues with like my buoyancy and I was up and down and all around. And my, uh, it was just this whole thing. So like, there are definitely a lot of issues. I was able to manage them, which was fine. So that's really good on me, but it could have been better for me in that way. But I really liked the space. I would really love to see more of it. Mm -hmm. I wish we were like certified for deeper so that we could go deeper. Yeah. If you don't know, we started diving because we wanted to go diving in Iceland because Iceland is the only place in the world that you can dive between two tectonic plates of the earth. It's called Sulfra. Um, it's very popular, but um, it is consistently like three degrees Celsius year round, no matter what. Um, so like it is cold and Currently, with like Ellie's hand issues, we definitely wouldn't be able to enjoy that experience fully. So, for like up to 10 minutes. Yeah, which is like, considering the amount of work you have to do to get out to that site, makes is not like ideal at all. So, we'll definitely have to figure that out. Um, but still, so now we're eating lunch and then we're going to go back for one more dive this afternoon. Um, the weather is so nice today, it's so sunny, which makes for, I think, it makes great diving on like a sunny, cloudless day because the water is lit up as best as you're going to get. Everything looks beautiful when you come both out of the water and go into the water. You like cannot ask for better without um, being in the oceans. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point.
buddy. You're done diving for the day. I hope you enjoyed whatever footage we managed to get while we were diving. I can't really imagine it was all amazing, but uh, we do what we can. We also got some swag. Yeah, we got swag. You got a sticker? What are you going to do with the sticker? Scrapbook it. Uh, you, would you ever want to buy one of those, like, you see people with, like, the hard shell, like, carrying things and they have stickers plastered all over? I don't know. Like, I've thought about being the type to, like, put them on my water bottle or on my computer or something, but in the end, I feel like, no, that ruins it, because... I agree. I always think they look cool, but I could never do it. Yeah. I'd be like, now you're not pristine. Yeah. And someday you'll be old and I won't get these stickers off of you. Yeah. So, like... That's a fair point. So as much as I always think it looks cool, I'm too I'm too reasonable to do that. Elliot. Yeah. Hmm? I like them I like I like getting something from everywhere I go to scrapbook, um, because I mean this place didn't have any pins. I also collect pins. But like because a lot of times when you're scrapbooking you can't find any custom stickers and this just adds to like it gives more effect to mm -hmm. your page. Ellie also got herself a a postcard. postcard. That'll probably also throw in the scrapbook. Just something else. Something different than just photos, you know? I feel like he gave us these for free. And then I got this shirt. And I'm not actually one for short shirt collecting. And I don't really wear, like, graphic t-shirts anymore either. But, like, I actually think this look kind of nice. And, um, I like this place we went on diving. And, um, I'm, like, happy and proud that we went there and stuff like that. And I think it kind of is a cool shirt. Because Ellie and I really like diving, and I like kind of showing off that I do dive. Because, um, well, I think it's super cool. I think it's very interesting. I love talking about it, so. This, like, photo, though, is also, like, what's depicted up on above. And mm -hmm. so later we'll, like, walk around the apartment. This Airbnb is super cool because um, the guy who runs it also dives. And so he kind of, like... There's even a, a room where you can dry your clothes, and I'll show you that a bit later, but he also has like drawings on the wall of like this lake or just other scuba diving fun things. And I think it's really cool and it fits us really well. Yeah, so we did that second dive and um, it was fine. For me, it didn't go super well. It went fine, but it could have been much, much better. If anything, the sh long story short, it just kind of like humbled me and showed me that like, I'm still quite new. You're not the shit. Yeah, I'm, um, we've done lots of diving in basically two other locations in Germany consistently. And I think the reality is I just got very used to those locations. Those are both also like rather... Small. Pool-ish. Yeah. Even Christian's isn't a pool, but it's like they're both enclosed, mm -hmm. you know? And, yeah, and not super large. And definitely more like training places. And this was like a really large open... It was like, lake. it's not like an ocean, but it was probably the closest thing to an ocean that we've gotten. Yeah, for environment. Your final thoughts? Yes, Rambler. Um, I'm just kidding. Um, I actually, I have these gloves that I bought, and when I try them on in the house, they're like borderline too tight. And so I was like, mm hmm. No, I'm not going to wear them. So the first dive was terrible. I told you that. The second dive, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to try them because I knew the other gloves, they were so loose that like, for the first dive, they were so loose that like water was just keep coming in and like I couldn't, my hands didn't have the chance to like warm the water in there before new water came in. And so my hands were just constantly exposed to the cold water. Um, and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to try it because why not? And I kid you not. I had no complaints. So these gloves were a slight bit thicker, but they were like snug to my hands. So the water that did come in, I got a chance to warm and it just stayed with me. It was a lovely feeling. Yeah. I wish I would have done this five dives ago because it would have been useful at Christian's. It would have been useful at the first dive here. And I would have been a happy camper. Yeah. You did seem like better. Yeah. Like the first dive today, we were about like, 13 minutes in, I think, and Ellie... I was like 10. Ellie was... Or 10, yeah. It wasn't and much. Ellie was like, yeah, my hands are cold. We should start going back. And then, like, a minute after that, she's like, my hands are terrible. I am going to the surface. And this time, we were at, like, 
I didn't even know how long he'd been under there. We were starting to turn around just for just because we wanted to. And I looked up, and Ellie was still doing fine. I look at my computer, and it says we've been under there for like 18 minutes. And I'm like, we're at 18 minutes, and Ellie is showing zero signs of cold hands. Like, I was like, are we going to be under here forever? I don't know. I guess we're just going to stay under until our air runs out or something, because I assumed we would come up because of Ellie's hands. It so was so nice. I was kind of surprised. I was just like, oh, apparently we're good this time. Okay, cool. So yeah, I'm, and so like those gloves I also bought myself. So like, mm -hmm. so you have them. Yes. So there's another piece of equipment that I feel comfortable with now, mm -hmm. and that I know keeps me warm. So I'm just happy. <laughs> I'm just excited. Good. Yeah. We also I saw a bird. Like we kicked up some silt. It's easy to some silt. silt. But like because the silt was there, it was, it was very cloudy, and then we got to see um like one of those I don't know what kind of bird it was. It was like white and gray, but it was like a long body that kind of looked like a duck, but with a like a long neck. So yeah, it was really fun. Um, but I definitely would like to come back. Yeah, for sure. I'd love to come back here more often. It's a very yeah. lovely place. Um, and also like a very small town. Like, I don't know. I don't feel like it's a very crowded place for diving, although it is February and there was still a lot of people. So maybe in the summer it'd be worse. Yeah. The website says it's usually a lot busier. The website usually, we like came on Friday and then we asked the um, employee to like kind of tell us about the area a bit. And their website even explicitly says normally, so like in the summer when they're like at peak time, do not expect that on the weekends because mm -hmm. they're way too busy to do it. That they say you should come on the weekdays if you're a new person and you want like to be kind of like acquainted with the with the area because they basically can't help you on the weekends. And then it also say like on the weekends don't call them. Their website later says that best time to call us, not Saturday. Because they're again just too busy. Um, mm -hmm. and they can do something like they can fill like five hundred tanks of air a day. Um, but I'm really proud of us for today. I'm really happy and I, I've realized I've missed diving. We haven't been diving for a month. So now we're going to say goodbye to you and for the rest of the evening, Ellie and I are just going to relax and enjoy the rest of her birthday, eat more cake. Watch New Girl some yeah. more. Watch more New Girl and just like enjoy our trip away from home life. And work and school. Yeah. So we hope you enjoyed today's video. Tomorrow we're maybe going to do a little extra sightseeing and I think I'll make that into a separate video. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Wish Ellie a happy birthday. And we will see you all next week.